Steve Sullivan, spokesperson for Millennium Pipeline Company. So it seems like some, some of the people, some of the residents uh, in nearby, they're concerned about noise. Can you speak about noise at all? Sure. Uh, under uh, Federal Energy Regulatory Commission guidelines, uh, we are required to uh, adhere to noise regulations, and they are 55 decibels at the nearest sensitive point. So that would be the nearest home. Uh, would have to have noise levels no higher than 55 decibels, which is equivalent roughly to a refrigerator running in your home. Um, and then, as you know, noise falls off as a function of the square root of distance. So as you go any distance further, that noise drops very quickly. Mm -hmm. Is that across all frequency ranges? Because it seems like the, that low frequency rumble might transmit. I think about thunderstorms have that that low frequency. Yeah, I, I'm not a noise expert, okay. uh, so I don't want to comment on. Uh, but right. as as I understand it, this should not produce low frequency noise. This station. Okay. And do you buy the 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 story that a fifteen thousand horsepower facility is no no louder than a refrigerator running? That's what I've been hearing them saying. Is that right? Do you, do you buy that? I couldn't quite hear that because uh, sometimes people exaggerate, and that's probably what they're doing. A 15,000 horsepower engine. I'll tell you the truth. We are on the lake miles from the river, but when the train, the freight train comes by, we can hear it. So you're talking about patterns of sound that carry because of the wooded area. It's hard to imagine that the whole mountain won't be covered with that sound. That's probably a good analogy because a train is probably in that range of horsepower. Uh, of horsepower. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. you can hear it. You can hear it.